Don't let anyone else's standard determine what you're going to do on your spring break. That's your time off. You earned it. Welcome back to Teacher Tales, where we give you the keys to overcoming teacher burnout to find work-life balance and educational bliss if it still exists. On this Socratic session, me and Ms. Hill chat about spring break 2024 style. What are we doing? What are we not doing? And when will the school laptop rear its ugly head? Because we all know that it will. Plus, when does spring break actually start? Is it three o'clock on Friday? Yes. So spring break is right around the corner. Five school days. Five school days away. Yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so with this coming up, I pulled up a couple of articles because I'm like, okay, what do other people do on their spring break? And what does the internet tell you what to do on spring break? So this first one, the okay. do's and don'ts for a balanced spring break. <laughs> okay. First off, balanced spring break is inaccurate. I don't want to be balanced. I want to be <laughs> off. <laughs> and so the first thing on here, it says, do take time off. That's so, what I, uh, it's the week off. That's a given. Yes. All right, so what's like one of the first things that you plan to do for when your spring break starts? Um, so spring break for me starts March 8th at 3.15 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> and the first thing I plan to do is hide and turn off my laptop and put up my I am not available this week email. Oh, yeah. Because cheer tryouts happen. We release at 3.15 p.m. And a lot of parents like to text and email that they want their kids scores like right that away. day. Yeah. So that'll be the first thing that I do is like, I'm not available. I can't help y'all. <laughs> Not you got to wait till we get back. Mm. Okay. Okay. Three fifteen on Friday. Next yep. Friday. Yep. I will probably still be at work. I will. <laughs> <laughs> you know me quite well. <laughs> he's not gonna leave until like four thirty because he's gonna make sure that all of his stuff is done, all of his grades, all of his. All of the paperwork and checks and dots that have to be done, he's not leaving until they're done. Well, the rest of us don't care about any of that. This teacher doesn't <laughs> care at all. You'll have to find me the week when we come back. Uh, okay. My my reports may not may or may not be turned in on March eighth, but don't tell my principal. My reports will definitely be turned <laughs> in. <laughs> I don't know three fifteen on that first um, on Friday. I mean, everything should be done by three fifteen. Does it matter? Still gonna be there. I'll probably be doing something at 315. Okay, that school gets out at 245. Yeah, that's almost like 30 minutes worth of just like I'll probably be talking to somebody. Absolutely not. See, and that's the difference between like certain teachers. There are certain teachers, such as myself, at 245, I'm trying to beat the buses out the parking lot. Like I oh, have no. no desire to be here anymore. And then there are other teachers who like Convene, convene with their friends and like go in the hallway and like, oh my God, how my was day your day today? My day just starting at 2.45. Absolutely not. <laughs> okay, that's uh, a little bit of an overstatement. But absolutely not. Mm -hmm. I never leave that early ever. It just doesn't happen. I'm like decompressing. Like, okay, yeah, kids are gone. Now I, can I don't want to decompress listen. here. Okay. <laughs> I want to decompress like in my car, like with the wind blowing, my sunshades <laughs> on. <laughs> not in the school. And my classroom is not even in the schoolhouse, so like I'm right. still kind of decompressing, but like in my car. I park my car behind my classroom so that there's no confusion, like no walking in parking lots, talking to people. You just avoid people at, at all cost. costs. <laughs> that is so, I just, okay, so one of the keys on here, and this is from the Baylor College of Medicine, they say, Medicine. do see other people. So do you have people that you plan to see on spring break? Um, actually, yes. Okay. I have, um, it's my cousin's birthday during spring break, so we're mm. hanging out with her and my family. Uh, my best friend is having a grand opening of her store. Wait, my store is not open. What store? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my other best friend is having a grand opening of her store on March the 9th. 
DC Apparel. Check her out. It's HBCU um, Focused Apparel. It's great. It's beautiful. DC, like District of Columbia? Dionysius Crafts, but yes. Oh, okay. Got it. Um, she sells all HBCU stuff, but she's having a grand opening of her store on March the... That's March the 9th. So that's like the next day. What yeah, day? March the 9th. Okay, so... So yeah. I will see people. Yes, you will. <laughs> I will see a lot of people because I'm staying. My other friend is actually getting proposed to that day as well. So I'm Ooh. supposed to be flying to Dallas after that, but we'll see how that works out. Why don't you just drive? Because they said that you have to be in the proposal at 545. My best friend's grand opening uh. isn't until 12. And then I'm working at the store from like 1 to 2.30. So there's no way that I could drive and make it to Dallas for a proposal. There's the only way I can make it is to fly. Got it. But we'll see if I actually do fly. If I actually even go. I may just like send my love. It's just a proposal though. It's not the wedding. <sighs> okay. All right. It's, it's, it, 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 it really could be that simple. However, it's not going to be. Right. And then he chose a date and I was like, yeah. I, like, I don't know if I can make that one. I don't one. know if I can make it, but I'm, I mean, I'll try. I will do my best. What did you say? I will send my love? But Heart emojis. The Yeah, the flights are not giving love, so we may be. Oh, it's spring break. The flights don't care about you. I swear. I was like, I'm going to Dallas. This is an hour. Why is this like $300? They're to... telling you that you should I'm just not be supposed driving. To go. <laughs> you should be driving. I'm not driving. I don't like road trips either, y'all, so that that's a hard pass for me. Huh. I want to be a passenger princess, so like driving mm. myself to Dallas gives very much anxiety. Okay. I only drive, I never ride as a passenger anywhere. That kind of makes sense. Why? What does that mean? That kind of makes sense. It fits like who you are. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it makes 100% huh. sense. If you were a person that was like, I don't like to drive either, I'd be like, you're a liar. Hmm. You're a liar. But that makes sense. You look like a person that wants to drive. I'll ride with you. I just don't want to. Because you I, know I'm a good driver. Correct. I, I'm not a good driver. So, like, don't put me behind the wheel for, like, long distances. Absolutely not. Okay. I don't know very many women who are good drivers, though. So. I always drive, so I don't even know yeah. if my wife is a good driver. <laughs> <laughs> she hasn't gotten into any accidents. So that's Neither good. have I. I need to find some wood or something. We're knocking on wood. Yeah, okay. sorry, friends. The last thing on here, friends, is don't leave work mode completely. Do you agree with this? Um. And if you don't, like, what's the percentage that we will like leave work mode on? I don't. I don't. The issue is that like I say that I'm going to turn on my email and like not respond to parents mm -hmm. about your stuff, mm -hmm. but I still have to. Because cheer is like a year-round thing that never stops. So like schoolwork, pro professional communication things, I have nothing to do with. I don't care right. about your grades. Right. None of that. My extracurricular, however, it's not going to stop. So like I try my – and most of my parents like kind of respect my time. Kind, kind of. of. Kind of. <laughs> so I'd say like 25% that I'm still like there. Cause I will respond to a message or like try to get, mm -hmm. try to get as many people's score sheets or feedback back to them early. Right. Like the kids that I know that aren't going to make it or going to be upset with their results. Like I'll have their stuff already prepared. Like I want my kid's score sheet. Sure. I already got it. I knew yep. you were going to be this parent. Yep. So. Okay. That makes sense. I uh, do not have a dual contract. <laughs> I am not tied to any sport or sponsorship whatsoever. He says that, y'all, but he's just a very invested person. Like, when he gets into things, he like he's a 100 or nothing person. That's the truth. He, he's not a person that does, like, middle things. So I don't believe that, like, while he's not in a contract, he's here today because he drove the bus for softball. Because if people ask him, he most likely won't say no. But I drove the bus <laughs> because I knew we could do this. Very true, but still... Even if you didn't, and somebody says, hey, can you drive the bus? It's like... Not always. It is hard for me to say no. no. I was like, no. To stuff like, if I can do it. Like, if I was not here, I would just be, like, at school <laughs> doing work, or I would be at home doing nothing. So why not just drive the bus? And it's money made, so it's a great... It is. It's a win-win. So, uh, 
contrary to popular belief, <laughs> when I leave school, I do not take my laptop home. <laughs> I do not do any work. That's because you're here till five home. o'clock. <laughs> not five. Depends. I was, I was actually with the theater at in the theater. Why were Black you with Box. the theater? I love theater. <laughs> See, <laughs> I love theater. That's what I told y'all. He does everything. He dibbles and dabbles in all things. I feel like you talk to the art teacher. I do. I believe it. I work out with the art teacher. <laughs> we go to the weight room usually for about forty minutes after school. What well, that makes sense? Yeah, about three fifteen. We usually head to the weight room. We wait, work out till about four o'clock for maybe a little bit longer if we chatting it up. And then after that, I go back to my room. I may have a thing <laughs> or two to do, depending on what we're doing tomorrow. And then I usually try to get my son before five. Yeah, no. Because um, if I'm at home, what am I doing? Playing but 2K. See, we, have, we have different like lives when we get home. Because well, like when I get home, like I have to cook dinner. I have to do yeah, all nah. of these things before bedtime at 7 o'clock. And we have to like read and play mm-hmm. games mm-hmm. and go outside. So it's like... When I leave here, I got to go. So all of this stuff has to come with me because I don't really get to get started on anything until like 7. Well, yeah, my son is like, there is no opening a laptop around him. Well, not not for my daughter either, but like she goes to bed between 7 and 7.30 every day. So when she that's goes early. to sleep, that's when I get to like do what you do at 4 o'clock. Mm, got it. You know what? <laughs> we could probably talk about kids for a whole episode. Very true. So uh, I do pretty much leave work completely at work when I go on spring break or any break. And I'll bring my laptop out at the, like, the Sunday before we come back. Oh, no. Because I know that I planned everything before I left. <laughs> so now it's just like, oh, okay, what are we doing tomorrow? Like, oh, all right. It's different, though, with our class because all of our kids change at yes. the semester. I'm like, what? So if it's... Uh, Christmas, Christmas break, break. It's a whole new. You do have. It's to like break. oh okay. Like I need to really see where we at. See what we are doing. See and for me, any break that we have, something is going on with cheer. Every time. So if you didn't have cheer, if I didn't have cheer, I would be coaching something. I just I can't. I don't. Mm. I don't think there's going to be a time in my life when I can just step away from coaching completely. Right, because you teach to coach. Of course, we had this discussion. We had this discussion. I don't, I don't coach to teach. I teach to coach. Teaching is like, okay, I have to do here. Do like, this all right. I sure. guess. Let's stand up. Let me tell y'all how to talk. That's what y'all want me to teach y'all Mm-mm. how to do. Got uh-uh. it. I don't stand up there. They teach themselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's Very a whole true. different discussion about uh, curriculum and blah, blah, blah. Very true. Which I could talk about that forever. He's my, he's my mentor, y'all. Oh. All of all of my lesson plans <laughs> were were provided by him because I decided this year. This is my third year in Fort Bend and seventh, eighth year teaching. And I finally decided, you know what? I should probably really figure out what it is I'm supposed <laughs> to be teaching in this class. So to all my students, if you're upset that we do real work in my class you're now. You're welcome. It's Mr. Franklin. I have 26 grades. That's insane, right? <laughs> We're only required to have nine. <laughs> How do you have 26 grades? Everything's for a grade. Don't play with me. Which Turn it in. makes sense, but like, absolutely not. Most of it is easy to grade, though. Or I'm not grading it. School you grade it. The quizzes, yes. So, like, the quizzes is the easy. Those kids hate those things. But I'm like, they y'all, do. the answers are in the document. Like, open it. They and go, in reality. It's 78 slides. Or it's 102 slides. They're on Quizly. Oh, oh well. How have y'all not figured that out yet? I know. I don't say that, but I'm like, come on, y'all. Like, but y'all, so like, y'all, y'all know the game. Y'all not trying. So go ahead and do your quizzes. And if you, well, I have gotten a little mean. If they don't do them, like when they're sitting in class, mm-hmm. I put a zero in. Mm-hmm. I automatically put it as missing. And then they have to come to me to say, excuse me, Miss Hill, I, I turned in my quiz, but it's still showing a zero. I say, yeah, because you didn't turn it in when Long I assigned time, it. Chump. So now I have to go in and unlock it and take off 10 points because it's late. <sighs> I'm not doing that. I, I don't take off the 10 points. But <laughs> <laughs> That's extra work. It is. I just press that it's not missing anymore. Yep. But like, yep. Same. Okay. Um, are you a big sleeper during breaks? No. But I go to bed at 9.30 every night. So like. So and- you just normally get good sleep anyway. <laughs> wow. My kid goes to sleep at 7.30. 
I do whatever I need to do in my little two hours. And at 9.30, like 10 o'clock is like, okay, girl, you crazy. You're living on the wild side. 10 o'clock? 10 o'clock. I, huh. <laughs> I can't function if I have to get up. But again, I wake up at 4.30. That's early. Yes. Why do you wake up so early? Um, On a normal day, I, I take another shower. I go for a walk or something. I do try to work out sometimes in the morning. I try to make like my smoothies and food that I have to do because mm-hmm. I'm not a because at nighttime like I'm either doing work I don't have time to like prep not, yeah, all that yeah, other yeah. stuff. Um, and then it's getting her up, brushing teeth, combing her hair, and being out of the door by six thirty at the latest. And then sometimes like some Dang. weeks we're thirty. Sometimes like I'm good and I like put out all of our clothes for the week so it's not like a hectic thing, but mm-hmm. most times it's not. Today is not a good representation of how I normally look at work, but I try my very best to dress up on a day-to-day basis. Yeah, but like we didn't even have kids today, so it doesn't... That's what I'm saying. Today yeah. was like I'm here. Yeah, I don't wear like sweats to work. If I, My kids know if I wore sweats to work, I woke up at like 5.30. They know that. Wow. <laughs> if I come to school with a hat on, I may have woke up at 6.00. My first alarm goes off at five thirty. <laughs> Absolutely not. But it doesn't take that long because we have a boy, so we don't have to do Very true. a whole lot of extra stuff. Oh no! You I make my lunch every morning: apples, one apple, two bananas, carrots, and peanut butter, this, and two cups of rice checks. Dip- that is not and lunch. Then, That's uh, your breakfast. Spinach and uh, whatever meat was made. It could be chicken, fish, whatever. That's breakfast. That's all of that stuff. Half of what you named was Those breakfast. are my snacks. Like, I can oh, eat that okay, my, okay. throughout the day, and then I got my lunch. We make coffee. I make, like, fruit bowls, like fruit jars, or I make, like, a salad in a jar. Like, I'm I'm trying to eat better. Yes, good job. Um, but, like... You got to do spinach. Don't do, like, lettuce. I do do baby spinach. Good. Perfect. I don't like iceberg lettuce. It's really not that good to me, so... There's no nutritional anything in there, anyway. Um, I'm not that healthy, y'all. I'm, Baby steps. I'm I'm barely. Again, like I said, I try to work out sometimes, but like it's March the first, so on Sunday I'm <coughs> I'm gonna get it together, y'all. I'm unbigging my back. <laughs> <coughs> I'm going to unbig my back by the time the summer what, comes. What? What? What does that mean? It means you ain't never heard nobody say unbig your back. No. <laughs> I forgot that you're like your kids have had to say that to you. No. It means like you're trying to get skinny. Like I mean, I I get it. Like, your back, like <laughs> okay. when your back is wide. People just don't say like I'm trying to lose weight anymore. No. Yes. Unbig my back. That takes <laughs> way longer to say. That's so inefficient. No, it's hilarious to say because people are always like, "It does sound your back kind not of even big." Like, what are you saying? And it's like, it's not big to y'all, but like to me, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. So like, this is my journey. I get it. Okay, so. On a day that you don't have stuff planned on spring break, what are you doing at like? Well, what time do you what time do you wake up now? Like on spring break, what time are you getting up? Not four thirty. No, my natural alarm clock is still like six thirty seven. It's weird. Um, no, but all right. And I won't have a kid for spring break, so. Wow, I will play so much two K. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. I'm. I want to be outside. <laughs> I want to. I. I don't know what my new infatuation is with parks, but like I love walking around parks, and that's that's my like people interaction because people I see people. You talk um, to them? No, <laughs> that's not interaction. <laughs> I people watch. It's so much fun to do. People watching is like a hobby of mine. But like I go out, I take my books. I've been back reading, so I've read like four books this past month. Ooh, I love reading. Y'all, I'm a nerd. But I want to do that. And I want to do my puzzles in the park. So, like, when I don't have anything like kind of puzzles. to do, I'm going to, like. Like a puzzle, like a picture. That... Like a picture, yes. Okay. Do you got it, like, on the newspaper, like the old school? Yes. At the, ah. at the little table. Um, that sounds fun. But that's my, those are my big plans. Um, I will be editing podcasts. Which makes sense. <laughs> That's pretty much what I do with my time. And I usually play the game while I'm editing so I can just listen. Because I, how? I'm i not just going to stare at the screen. There's like, nothing how there. How are you editing and... Oh, that's true. Because it's 
Right. I just have my headphones. I'm playing. I'm listening and laughing. And then when I hear something that doesn't, doesn't sound happen. right, I pause the game. I edit whatever <laughs> I need to edit. And then I go back to, I go back to playing because that's that's always how I've done it. Even, hey, your method. Your this is your baby. I don't I don't know about this. Well, you've been on here. Uh, this is number two. This is number two, y'all. With more to come. Yes. Uh, so, let's see. Is there anything else? Because oh. this says like wrap up loose ends. Self care. What does that look like for you? I am a girl's girl. So like the nail salon. Granted, I'm getting my hair done tomorrow. So that's not going to be like something I do during spring break. But I love massages. I love like going to spas. I love museums. So like self-care for me is just doing things that I wouldn't normally do on a day-to-day -day basis. So, but that'll for sure be in my, in my little week. If I'm scheduling me a massage, I am getting a deep clean of my house. So that'll be great. Are you doing it? Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm sitting, sitting that person. There's a difference between cleaning and deep cleaning. Mm. And like pulling things out of cabinets and like wiping mm. is what I want done. So I am, I've already hired someone to come and do said thing for me. I'm just going to do it on March the 9th. So like when I come home from all the craziness of that day, mm -hmm. it's going to be like, oh my God, everything smells good and it's new. And there won't be a baby there. They're just going to be like, in the house while you're gone? Yes, mm. but I trust her. She's—I mean, she does it like every two months, so we're good. Okay, you got you a little cleaning lady. I do have me a cleaning lady. I Katar need one. Katara cleans is that girl. But yeah, there won't be a baby there to like mess Tear things up, up for a week, which isn't really true because I'm gonna take her to the rodeo. Oh, I'm going to the rodeo, y'all. I'm gonna go to the rodeo. You going to the concerts? No. Or like just the rodeo part. I'm going to the carnival. I've never been to the rodeo. What? Never been. How? Why? I'm not from here. That's true. But like you've lived here since high school. And never has anybody since been like, you need to go to the rodeo. People talk about the rodeo. I don't really care for like... People only talk about the concerts and the food. That's I'm literally only going for the food. I don't ride rides. I'm afraid of heights. Um, I'm literally just going for the food and to dress up in my cowboy boots and take a picture. Well, I don't have any money, so <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> it's still fun to be there. No, no, I'm not. No. Yes, it is. It's... I believe you. I believe that is fun, but I'm not going. You don't know, you got to pay to get in? Actually, no. First of all, have you talked to your students ever about the rodeo? 90% uh, of them have free tickets and give them away because their parents literally don't go to all the days that they have. Hmm. My sister's student at her school gave us four tickets to get in for free, plus the passes, like coupons for meals and stuff. Dang. So it's wow. like, that part's done. It's so like when I go in there, I may buy like two or three things. Yeah. Because I just, I'm a gluten eater that I don't really eat all that much. But like, dang, that's not going to really go with my unbig and my back thing. It's really not. <laughs> you got to work out harder that day. Two a day. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's still going to be fun. There's a turkey. I have to get a turkey leg and a funnel cake and cotton candy and the sausage on the stick. And I really want to try like, I, there's a lot of things that I want to try, like the fried pickles. Mm. I want. I really want to like try a couple of you things. You can get a turkey leg anytime. From where? From the store. Who's gonna make it? <laughs> I can't. I can't grill. I can cook a lot of things. I have never been taught how to grill. I've always wanted to learn, but I've never been taught how to grill. Get you a grill. I have one. I have no clue where you're supposed to put the little stuff inside. Oh my goodness. That's like grilling to me is like changing your oil. That is not a woman's job. Really? What if you want something grilled? You find somebody to grill. <laughs> That's literally what I do. I find somebody who will grill for me. I will grill, but we don't have a grill. A little smoky? We don't like... have nothing. Oh, I love. I have, I have a little smoky in the backyard. We don't have no money, so I didn't buy uh, it. You yet. and this no money thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's, we could have bought a grill by now. It's a temporary thing. 
Your kid's almost out of daycare. We'll have some money eventually. I'm not like complaining, but this is the reality. It's a struggle. It's it's the, a, I, hey, I get it. You know, it's taxes income tax going time. up. It's income tax time, though. Mm, insurance, car insurance. It's we not need to find you a good tax man. A good tax man. Mr. Eddie. I don't know if I'm supposed to say his name over the <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Eddie. Shout out to Mr. Eddie. I'll see you back next year. Hmm. So, uh, okay. Last thing. Last thing. If you're going to give somebody advice for their spring break and some advice for when they come back from spring break. I don't know. Like, do what you want to do. Like, have fun. If having fun to you is sleeping all day, then do that. If having fun is playing the video game to you, yes, do sir. that. <laughs> but, like, don't let anybody's standard of what they believe your mm. spring break is supposed to look like determine that. Like, just do what it is that you want to do. Um, that's good advice. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what nobody feels about my spring break plans. Same. Um, what was the other question? Uh, give somebody some advice for when they get back from spring break. To... Take it slow. Okay. Um, like, don't make anybody feel, especially like for teachers. Well, we're all teachers here. But, like, don't let anybody feel like you're supposed to jump right back into content on <laughs> March the whatever day it is. Because the children have been gone for a week. You have been gone for a week. And everybody needs that grace period to, like, adjust back into, like, what school is supposed to look like. Because what I've learned about these children is that, like, their school lives and their home lives are very different. So, like, what they get away with at home may be extremely different than what they get away extremely with. Extremely different. At your in your classrooms, like mm-hmm. you have to give them the grace to readjust themselves back to like, oh, in Mr. Franklin's class, we we can't talk like that. Nah, well, no cussing, that's, no cussing in my classroom. No cussing. I I can honestly believe that. So like at home, they mama may cu- they may cuss at their mama or may cuss just oh, in general. So like you have to give them a second to like remember that like oh snap I'm back in Mr. Franklin's class yes. he be tripping. I pull my sword out. <laughs> this is dramatic, y'all. But yeah, um, that's my advice. Take it slow, y'all. Give them some grace. We got a project that first week back, so How y'all better be ready. Disrespectful. <laughs> it's no. easy. It's easy though. What project? Uh, so the class will get a like um, a sum of money, and they will have to <sighs> split it based on the wheel. All right. So first, we got to figure out how much money. It's either. 500,000, 200,000, I think it's like 100, it's four numbers. So depending on which one they get, that's our total sum. After that, we have to find out how much each group gets. So Yo, Mr. Franklin be doing real projects in his class. This is what I love to do. This is my favorite part about teaching. And so there are like different numbers. Everybody doesn't get the same amount of money. Why? Because it's more fun that way, more variance. Because if you gave everybody the same amount of money, you would get a lot of the same answers. Okay. So there's a percentage. So we have like there's a 30%, a 25, like two 15s, two 10s, and like two fives. Mm-hmm. So if you get 5%, you can't spend your money like the other people, like with 30%. Correct. Okay, now there's another layer. There are six categories of things that you have to buy. Oh, absolutely not. So this is basically like teaching them how to survive off of an income? Basically. Our class is like a repetition. Like every semester you do the exact same thing. And every year you're going to do the exact same thing. Not Mr. Franklin. He comes up with new projects. All the time. Literally just at the whim all the time. I can't keep up. And I'm not trying to. I'm going to (laughs) do the things that I have. And then I'll see what else happens after that, y'all. Because I'm... mm -mm. He's super teacher. I'm just like I just He's no. the CTE teacher of the year as I told y'all. I'm beginning. not a super teacher. Super I just teacher. do stuff. He likes it. He's super engaging. I, that's why I'm trying. I'm trying to learn from him, y'all. But like it's baby steps. Like I told y'all, take baby steps. <laughs> Don't let anybody bully you into moving too fast. I agree with that. And I take baby steps with my my mentee. He does. Baby steps together. He does. Okay. Miss Hill. Mr. Franklin. Thank you for coming on again. You're very welcome. It's always enlightening. Uh, We will do this again soon. For sure. So be prepared. I'm never prepared, but I'm always ready. (laughs) (laughs) I'm always present. That's perfect. 
I hope you all enjoyed that conversation between me and Miss Hill, my mentee. It's always a pleasure having her on as we provide the keys to unlocking the teacher life you desire, even during spring break. Before we get out of here, remember, your spring break is your spring break. Do with it what you wish. If that's sleeping all day, then sleep all day. If that's hooping or playing video games or curled up with a nice book, do it because that's what you enjoy. Only open up that laptop if absolutely necessary. Or at least the day before we come back. Unplug and relax. You've earned it. As always, thank you for listening. Keep teaching. Keep learning. And I will see you all on the next journey.